Hi, good evening, everyone. I recently did a podcast with uh, Lawrence Aram, and uh, actually his wines always just amaze me, and I always open his wines with a great confidence. He's a great, humble, young, talented winemaker from Kamtal, Austria, and I have two beautiful wines from him, or from his family, actually, Grüner Wettliner and the St. Laurent, and the first one is going to be Grüner Wettliner Hazel 2019. These are, unfortunately, the last drop, so... I have to save some a little bit, but these were really nice uh, companions, also without food or with some uh, light fish and especially with the sweet water fishes. And um, so we are actually in Kamptal in Lower Austria, and that's uh, north from the river Danube and uh, north from Kams uh, Kramstal actually, and that's one of the three principal most famous uh, white wine. Um, wine regions of Austria and actually please listen to the podcast and watch the uh, video also with uh, Lawrence, the video interview. He really gives a astonishing uh, masterclass on these terroirs and also on his grape varieties. So the soil is actually in Hazard is less and also in this region it's very particular that's kind of wind-blown dust so it's uh, also it's very good at retaining moisture so they have no need for um, irrigation, for example. It's also very good soil for green Vatina in general. And Kamtal is, um, yeah, could be considered the coolest uh, from these three. So Wachau, Kremstal and Kamtal. And that's also really, it comes back in the wine. So, so really the nose is, it has kind of white minerality, really refreshing nose that you really want to sip uh, this wine right away. And Actually, the nose is kind of like this tone fruity, but more peachy kind of character. And also all these wines are actually spontaneously fermented. And this wine was also for, I think, three months on the fine lees. So very elegant wines in general from Aram and Kamtal. Mm. Mm. Wow, and the palate is so rich. It's um, that's a Oh, wow, it's kind of like a dance play between apricot and maracuya and these kind of kind of acidic but still luscious stony fruit. But the acidity is very bright and wow, and it um, like kind of lingers, it's kind of dancing in your mouth but still very light. So it's really it stuns you with. Uh, with an ease kind of it's like a really elegant dance play i think a great wine is what a great wine is for me it has a grape specific it's a terroir specific it has a great balance always and it has character and this wine actually has it so it's a very light wine but still has a lot to offer it can really surprise surprise you it's a sexy wine really Mm. Wow, it's really like a ballerina and it's so it's so dense but still has a body like a feather. So it's a really complex one, it really wakes you up. You it really it has a trinkus that's in German. That's kind of this is the meaning you want to have another sip because it refreshes you and it's, it's like a nourishment, but it's uh Grüner Wettliner can also be a little bit fat sometimes. But this is very bright, but bright. It's it's really alive. So, Hazel Grüner Vetliner from Aram, you can't go wrong with it. It's a 2019 vintage, and actually this um, winery will also be organic in a few years, and also part of the traditional winemakers association, so to say. I don't know if I said it right in Austria. A typical light refreshing to Navatina. So let's go for the Sankara and stands in this beautiful Salto glass because I use Salto glass for this elegant sexy wines in general. That's um, universal white wine glass from Salto and that's a burgundy glass and I think half a bottle of wine can fit into this glass at least but it can really enhance any flavor as a wine can provide you so it's really like a beautiful tool in your toolbox and 
really concentrates the aroma. So St. Laurent, it's actually, if you don't know this grape variety, um, child of Pinot Noir and an unknown grape variety. So Pinot Noir is the mother and the father is unknown as it happens in real life as well sometimes. And uh, so Pinot Noir is also kind of diva, but more typically on the red fruit side. And St. Laurent, it's a bit darker and a bit spicier, a bit smokier. It's still really delicate. It's really an early ripening variety with thin skin, and it's really just want to have a bite in it. It's um, it's a typical sexy grape variety, I think, but very delicate, very mild tannins. If it's not over oaked and um, good side dank, as we say in uh, Austria. So um, thank God, Aram also understands this grape variety and really just only used um, used oats and unfiltered, unpied, so really just naturally with spontaneous fermentation, 5% alcohol and Geisberg is actually the crude, is, the nose is already kind of interesting so it's really more on the black cherry, prune, um, sour cherry kind of side, kind of juniper berries and dark spices, well, really mesmerizing smell, I would say. Mm. But really a ripe on the palate, so this wine also has this cool climate characteristics. So it's very acidity driven, but it's still in balance. So, wow, it's really, as Lauren said in the podcast, acidity really gives the backbone of these wines and not the tannin, not overall, not the extraction. Really elegant, really lively. The acidity that kind of brings along all these flavors and now this kind of, yeah, black forest ham kind of smokiness and kind of meatiness comes through. So the acidity kind of keeps the wine alive and allows all these aromatics to evolve and to to show the many faces well, and very refreshing um, it's really your body kind of yeah seeks the next <laughs> sip and really the nose is overtoned by these berry tones by almost kind of blackberry tones but the hmm. but the mouth feels really much more complex and the tannins are really round so you can really drink this wine just without any food but I would also can really recommend some rabbit with it or with some duck maybe some gamey notes because this wine have this kind of kind of dirtiness to it like kind of edge because it's not really a food bomb but more like an intellectual wine and Wow, well made Lawrence, it's really congratulations and beautiful wines and I really don't want to make any more advertisement for Zalto but for this kind of sexiness you also need some good tool in your hand. So I hope you enjoy this little introduction and Lawrence can tell you a lot more about these terroirs and wines. I don't want to um, go too deep uh, with the description because that's my personal expression um, of this wine, so personal opinion. So I hope you enjoyed it and drink more Kamtal and drink more Sankt Laurent and Austrian wines. So cheers!